I I try to fuck with my general practitioner, and and perhaps that's how this all starts. My doctor is a little guy, and he's always smiling, but he never laughs at anything. He doesn't he doesn't react to anything. I feel kin to these people who never react to anything, because I don't really react to anything. There's something in that that's trying to get a reaction to something. When I meet someone unflappable, I want to see them flap. <laughs> We're discussing my blood test. It doesn't seem to have any vitamin D in it. Even after the supplements and the extra dairy and eggs and even sunlight, if you believe sunlight exists enough in February. We may have to take a sonogram or even go full colonoscopy, he says. That's fine, I say. You never get enough chances to see pictures of your own bowels. No reaction. No. Be careful what, what you wish for, the doctor says. Before he, calls the, before he calls the gastroenterologist and tells her to free up the tube and camera for another exploration, he tells me there's one more preventive test that we could try, though it's new and it's a little controversial. He says that I can eat a little of myself. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? You eat a little of yourself, he says. We take some tissue and a lab in upstate grows a bigger sample and sends it back in a month. Then you eat it and tell me what it tastes like. <laughs> My doctor explained that the idea came from dogs that can smell cancer on people. Apparently some dogs have the ability to sniff a person and detect by scent whether they have cancer or whether it's gone into remission or something. I don't get it. How would I know what cancer tastes like, I asked my doctor. That's why it works, he says. You don't recognize anything. You should taste familiar. Do you know the flavor of your own tongue? You've spent your whole life tasting yourself without realizing it. If you taste familiar, you are healthy. If you don't agree with yourself, that's usually a sign of disease. I imagine a little nugget of me about the length of two knuckles on a small plate like a boneless chicken wing. Maybe a side of blue cheese. My doctor dressed like a laconic sous chef. Making about it makes me want to gag. But I suppose I bite my nails, so I, I could do this. All right, I say, prepare me. So they scrape a little of me off my cheek and off I go to be prepared. The words of my uncle Dan haunt me. Eventually we will all die eating ourselves, he yelled. <laughs> Dan was a weird uncle. He holed himself up on the Michigan Peninsula in a little cabin without internet, a phone line, electricity. A lot of guns, though. <laughs> Maybe he really was a prophet. I never heard what happened to him. Maybe I can find him and tell him he was right. Maybe he ate himself. In four weeks, a sample is ready. Everything about that doctor's visit is the same. I wait for two hours past my appointment time in the waiting room. The nurse takes my blood pressure as if I'm not about to cannibalize myself for science. My doctor arrives with the main course in a petri dish. It's a raw piece of meat sliced thin and long. Jeff Tartar. <laughs> Not sure why I imagined a little nugget. Not sure why I thought I would be cooked. I didn't expect a wine pairing, but I'm served with a plastic fork. It, it seems a little unceremonious. So I delay. Uh, you ever sneak a little bite of some of your patients just to see what they taste like? He ignores me. Do you want to be alone while you eat the sample, the doctor says. No, no, I got this. I, I use my fingers. I'm not sure how many times I'm supposed to chew it. Uh, five or ten? Thirty times? What do they say? It's too late to ask. I don't want to talk with my mouth full of myself. Here's all I learned. I am not a delicacy. I'm mushy. I'm tasteless. I'm less than tasteless, actually. I taste like air. It's hard to recognize the flavor from any other part of my mouth. He's right. I'm essentially swallowing my tongue. 
I suppose I once thought that I grow monstrous with time. Something malignant, feared, and powerful. Instead, as I chew, I find myself to be a soft nothing. So easily scraped off, copied, and digested. We still don't know why I don't have any vitamin D in the bloodstream, but at least we know I don't taste like a deficiency. <laughs> and how many times do you get the opportunity to find that out? 